hello friends. Okay, we all know I've got construction out my window. Don't even mention it. I guess I'll have to address this in all of my new videos, but I'm sorry about the construction. It's so chaotic outside and I wish that this could not be this way, but it is. So, <laughs> embrace our zen moment and regroup. Pretend that's not actually happening. So I thought about this video idea about a month ago and I thought it had the potential to be funny. But we'll see, I guess you'll be the judge of that, right? But Connor Franta did a video called Exposing My Internet Search History and I just thought that was such a genius idea. He's so creative and funny, so I'm just gonna copy him a little bit. But I will link his video down below. He is an angel. But I thought it would be interesting to dive into what I've searched in the past because I'm sure there's some interesting stuff on there. And I haven't looked yet, so I don't know what to expect, but we're just gonna take a peek into my Google search history and address some of my main concerns. Okay, so the first thing that popped up was birch face. <laughs> I will insert a picture of what a birch face looks like. <laughs> but in the group chat with my friends, Brooke was trying to talk about somebody and said that she had a resting bitch face and accidentally typed birch face. So I just I thought it'd be a missed opportunity if I didn't send that to them. I've been looking at a lot of movies, seeing what's out there. Oh, okay. I just searched this today, actually. I saw on Twitter there was this thing where it was like, look up Rihanna and your birthday and see what outfit comes up. So I was like, oh, interesting. It's like a Rihanna Zodiac sign. So I looked up mine and I am a Leo. I was born August 2nd. Don't really agree with my sign, to be honest, but it is what it is. The picture that came up was this and it seemed correct. <laughs> I've been searching for egg brands because I have to do a project where I make an advertisement for an egg company. <laughs> okay, um, I've also been looking at Tom Cruise's tooth. I make playlists on Spotify and instead of saying, you know, September 2018 or whatever the month is, I like to do a relevant pop culture moment or like an inside joke with my friends. So my playlist name for next month, I already made the playlist and everything, but it's called Tom Cruise's Middle Tooth. <laughs> so I was looking for a picture to make the cover art for my playlist. Okay, so I searched intellectual <laughs> because I wanted to make sure I was spelling it right because I'm an intellectual, I guess. This next search is Mykonos Flights. <laughs> Ever since the Lindsay Lohan meme moment. Honey, this is how you throw a party at Mykonos, bitch. Mykonos has been a very big aspect in my life, and I really want to go now. So John and I were just talking about packing up our bags and just going to Mykonos right now. And the flights were around 4,000. I looked at, stop it get some help. I have an ecology class, so I've been looking up some ecology terms. I recently watched the Jordan Sparks One Step at a Time and watched the music video for old times sake and Chris Brown was wearing a blanket scarf. Ladies and gents, he was wearing a blanket scarf and I just thought that 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 was the most ridiculous thing. Not a fan. Oh, okay, so recently I've been watching the Ted Bundy serial killer tapes on Netflix. So I was talking to my friends about it and Emma was like, oh, they're actually coming out with a movie about the Manson murders. And I was like, oh, that's so interesting. So I looked it up. Quentin Tarantino is directing it, so I'm very excited. But I found out while I was looking all this up that Charles Manson was five foot two. I don't know why, but that was just funny to me, because I'm like two times his size. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be laughing. I got thinking, what are the other serial killer's heights? And Ted Bundy was like 5'10 or something, so that's why I looked it up, which seemed more accurate. I mean, not that you can't be a short serial killer, it's just, it seems kind of funny that... Okay, never mind. I like to look up the weather like five times a day, just to see if it's going to change anytime soon and it never does. <laughs> I don't know why, I looked up Mr. Struggle. <laughs> That's a Cody Co reference. Well, I was looking up boating in Central Park 
If you haven't done that, you just need to stop what you're doing right now and go rent one of those boats. I got curious about bees one day. I was looking up Heyday. I used to play that game all the time. Yee! <laughs> I was looking up Brad's The Movie. <laughs> oh, I thought that Blake Lively was in it, but that was Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Oh, I was looking at my zodiac sign and trying to figure out all that stuff, and I am a Leo Sun Aries Moon. A frank personality. I feel like everyone's gonna come for me with that, that duo. I feel like it's a very aggressive combination. I feel like I'm a chill person, so I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Here are my thoughts on zodiac signs. Some people, they work for them, they agree with them, it's them to a T. I don't necessarily agree with mine. I actually believe more in the personality types, like the Myers-Briggs personality type. I think that those combinations really get a sense of you and your way of thinking and your perspectives on stuff versus just what day you were born and when the stars were aligned. <laughs> If you haven't taken the personality test, just take the 16 personalities test. I've never met anyone that's taken it and wasn't so fascinated with how it just was them perfectly. And it's insane to think about how all of us fit into 16 main personality types. So that's a little side note. I feel like I should do a video about that because mine's really interesting and I would love to just talk about it. I'm an INFJ, by the way, if you're into that stuff. Anyways. And the last thing I looked up was a cocaine spoon. Um, alright. Well, I think I looked that up because my friend Emma found a super, super tiny little spoon in her apartment whenever she moved in, and it looked like a little doll spoon or something, and we're like, what is that? But she just kept it around, and then one day I was watching, I think it was Goodfellas or something, and in the movie, this guy was doing cocaine with a little teeny tiny spoon, and it looked just like the one that was in her apartment, so I was trying to see if that's what all cocaine spoons look like, because I don't know. It's still undetermined. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this a little bit. Um, it's very interesting to reflect on your past searches and your past wonderings in life. And I urge you to look at your search history as well. I'm sure you'll find some interesting stuff. Alright, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.